Hey, it's Alan from Hack Gadgets here. Live at CES, we're going to be taking a look in the Murata booth. Let's go and see what they have to offer.
how Verada Boy has the power to move around the way that he does. Well, he uses Verada capacitors to store energy, Verada DC-DC converters to convert energy, and Verada thermistors to limit that abnormal current. Now, we're going to do some more here with the magic stick. Now, he'll turn his face in the direction that we point the magic stick. Now, Verada Boy isn't actually looking at the magic stick. Instead, the magic stick is sensing the motion and then sends the command to Murata Boy using that Murata Bluetooth module we talked about. Now, this is going to enable him then to turn his face in the direction that the magic stick is pointing. Isn't that right, Murata Boy? He's so smart. <laughs> well, thank you, Murata Boy. We're going to see you in a little bit, all right? Give a round of applause. Now, did any of you all ever notice the HD video that's streaming to the mon monitors here? We've got that set up down here. Now, this is courtesy of a Murata wireless module that's operating at 60 gigahertz. So you know what that means? It means that you're all part of a live demonstration of Murata's products for wireless HD. Now, I've got a secret for you, just so you know. Murata Boy is not the only robot in the family. No, no. He has a cousin. And her name is Murata Girl. Now, she was developed to recognize and to celebrate the contributions of women to science and engineering, as well as, of course, consumer electronics. We'll get her set up here now. You're going to see she was officially introduced to the world on September 23rd, 2008. And now, well, I'd like to introduce her to all of you. So go ahead and give her some courage here. Encourage her all. Yay, Rod Girl. She gets kind of bashful sometimes down there. So let me tell you a little bit about her. See, she is a unicycle riding robot with an excellent, excellent sense of balance. Now, she has three built-in gyro sensors. Now, these sensors will detect sideways and lengthways movements, and they'll calculate the slanting angle of her body that way. Now, Marana Girl will rotate the flywheel that's in her chest to correct that left to right slant, and rotate the unicycle wheel underneath her, backwards or forwards, in small increments, and that's going to help her with her front to back balance. And you'll see her down here. We're going to let her kind of motor around up on the stage so you can watch her kind of move around. You see, she can react to people and to objects. She can follow them. She can accurately measure distances and move forward without lagging behind. And that's because of the Murata ultrasonic sensors that she's wearing. You can kind of see her down there. You see, she, she's looking fabulous. Actually, you can go back to where you started if you want. Yeah, and you look, she backs up and she doesn't even look behind her. She drives like my mother. All right, let's put you up on the balance beam. How about that? We got another trick for you. So I'll put you up here. Now you can see that Murata Girl can balance on a two centimeter wide balance beam. Now keep in mind that that's less than eight tenths of an inch. Tiny, tiny arrow. We got her up here. Now Murata Girl has a CCD camera that's mounted underneath her skirt. So she can see the image of the balance beam and send that image to the controller PC by using Murata's Wi-Fi module, ceramic antennas, inductor, and EMI filters. So you can see she's doing a great job here. Now she's receiving a command from the laptop to follow the straight line of that balance beam. And that's what makes it possible for Murata Girl to travel on this just two centimeter wide balance beam without falling off. Excellent job. She's doing a great job. All right, so what do you think, Murata Girl? Should we have your cousin come back? Yeah, she's even blushing again. She's so bashful, I love it. Let's bring Murata Boy back out here then. I wanna show you all the things that he can do. Now, Murata Boy can also travel on a two centimeter wide balance beam. So we're gonna set him up on there. Now, he also has that CCD camera. His is between his eyes, actually, and that enables him to be able to see the image of that balance beam. Now, we could also string some audio to Murata Boy, and that you would hear because of Murata's ultra-thin piezo speaker, and that's gonna be mounted just at the neck of the bike there. However, with all the noise in this hall, well, He's going to get drawn out. I mean, look at the speakers I'm working with. He didn't have a chance at it, but if you'd like to see that and some other really cool things that Murata Boy can do, things like climbing on a steep 25 degree angle slope, negotiating an S-curve, because obviously he mastered the straight one with no problem, and stopping when obstacles are placed right in his path, well, we'll invite you to go to our website. That's www.murata.com. So go ahead and check that out, and also on YouTube. Well, he did an excellent job. That was a piece of cake for him, I can tell. So congratulations to Murata Boy for that. Excellent. I love how he does that. 
So folks, what you've witnessed here today is Marotta Boy and Marotta Girl performing a number of riding techniques that are all made possible by Marotta's advanced technologies. Now, of course, we invite you to come on into the booth here and see how we're applying Marotta's advanced technologies and products to a smart home and a smart life. Our booth highlights our products which are invaluable when it comes to enabling new features in customer electronics. And these are things that you'll see at this and future CES shows. So, keep your eye out for the future developments of Marotta Boy and Marotta Girl and come ride with us into the future of advanced electronics. And remember, Marotta Solutions for a Smart Life. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And thank you, thank you Marotta Boy, Marotta Girl, excellent. I said I definitely do invite you to come on into the booth. Uh, if you want, we can get your badge scanned, get you some information, and we do have some giveaways for you. Got a few people passing them out back behind here, so if you'd like to pick up one of the, uh, the little freebies, feel free to grab one of those. Thank you so much, and have a great time here at CES. <laughs>